James here. Today I'm going to have a look at how I'm going to put a couple of beams of light in here using a couple of effects. This can easily be followed in either the standard or the pro. I am doing this in the pro edition, but with the standard one you just add your effects with this plus plus in here and there's an option for effects. So, I'm going to, at the end I'll have a quick talk about some of my future plans, but for now let's go into this tutorial. So I'm going to want a drawing. I'm going to, you don't really need to worry about, I've got a scene that's sort of drawn here for it, but I'm putting it below the outline because there's actually an outline around this so you're sort of looking into a cave and I want the light coming from this corner up here. So I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool and we're going to try to make our light. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. I'll turn the outline off. And what we're just trying to do here is I'm trying to get a rectangle which will be the cone for the light. So something like that. Maybe a little bit smaller. And we're going to fill this in with a light texture and then we're going to add some blur to it and some transparency and in the end it should look really good. We'll just bend that out a little bit. Yeah, I like that, so let's just move it down a touch. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to mix a light texture. So, if you're not, if you're on solid already, you'll just need to switch over to gradient. And I'm going to go to multi wheel mode and I'm going to pick this one here. That's basically a yellow, a really bright yellow. And this one down here, we're going to send it to zero, or almost zero. But I also wanted to go to white. So we're going from yellow to white. Now this yellow here is just too strong, we need to desaturate it. So something like that. And now we can apply this and paint it on the inside. And we can go up to here to edit our gradient and texture. And it gives you this up, this tool here. And you can use this to move how the gradient looks. So I'm going to put it down here. And the idea is I want it to start strong at the top where the light's peering into the cave. And I want it to go down and fade out. So. And if you've got a more of a round source, you could use a radial gradient to do this, but I'm just going to use a linear gradient because it works well for the situation. Now, we don't need this part on the outside. I'm just going to lock down so I've only got this drawing active. And so the next thing I want to do is grab my select tool. I'm going to try and grab the outside and just delete it. I'm now going to call this drawing light light one and I'm also going to add a peg so let's add a peg and let's put it up here just grab the light oops I didn't mean to do that Grab this peg. Onto the light. It's actually the wrong way around, so let's Okay, now we've got it set up correctly. And this is gonna be a peg for the light. This is just if you want to move the light or something like that. So now you can see we have this light. At the moment, that's obviously not a great effect. So what we're going to do is add a couple of effects. So I'm going to go over on a network view. You can basically ignore all of this stuff. This is just the rest of the scene. All we're working on here is this little section here. So all I'm going to do is go to the module library and we're going to add transparency. And we're also going to add a radial blur. 
we, all you do is you just pipe them through like this to connect them. And now you can see that we now have this sort of chain. And I'm going to, 50% for the transparency is probably okay. And I'm just going to turn the blur up to something like 22. I, you just experiment with these numbers until you get something you're happy with. But you'll now see, if you go to render mode, you have, that's the previous light, that's the new light. The one that you just saw before is what we're aiming to get to. So now we have this one light. I'm honestly, I probably like this to go a little bit further in, so maybe I'll grab this light and just move it in a bit. And that looks better. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this with the control. We need to go back to OpenGL mode to move it. With the control key held, I'm just going to pull it up and create a second one. And they're just going to overlap. And this should give us a really neat little lighting effect with some overlap. So all you need to do is find where it's gone. I've created it in the same drawing. So I'm going to press Control X to cut it, add a new drawing, call it Lights 2. I'll now paste it in there and we're just going to go to the network view and we're just going to add another transparency and another blur. I like to add them individually because it tends to get you a much better effect than doing them one by one. I want this layer to go be done first so I'm putting that on top. So 22 And there you have it, you have this nice sort of sunbeam coming in effect. You could use this to also make like a spotlight, just put it on the peg. Now you've got this peg, you can just animate it and this will animate fine. So if you just sort of use this with a red cone or something, you can make, you know, a red spotlight and you could make effects for that sort of thing for a concert. And this is just a sort of a very basic lighting effect and it's a nice way to add some you know, a cluster touch to your scene. I mean, if I was going to do this a bit further, I'd move the light a bit closer to here and I was going to put something on top of this sort of pylon. And in the future, I am planning to do a couple of tutorials to sell on my website, which will be, you know, a lot bigger than these type of tutorials. They'll be sort of, you know, three or four hours of training rather than just a 10-minute thing. These ones aren't going to stop. I'm going to keep doing these. And I actually plan to do a sort of a disappearing jigsaw one and record that right now so that should be up soon i saw a simpsons episode with it and i thought oh, that's a really cool effect so i just had to sit down and animate and do it since as most of you know the simpsons was actually done in harmony which is basically animates so i plan to do that and i'll you know keep you up to date with what's going to happen with these other tutorials and if any of you are interested in them then so be it but it doesn't really matter either way these tutorials on my YouTube channel will continue and hope you enjoyed this and hope you found it useful.